Hello everyone, just to keep this video short, <clears throat> I want to talk to you about a mechanic that everyone has. As you know, and I use Mafuba like a dingo, with the Yard Rat Mask, I can simply equip that and then teleport to anyone on my friends list. But what if I told you there's a way to do that exact same mechanic for a gem? <laughs> So, with this other account, I'm going to... A lot of misses are happening. Yo, 100k attack, that is not bad. Alright. So, I'm going to die. And then, I'm going to play hide and seek with this other account. Let's see. I'm going to go home, and then I'm going to check my enemy list real quick. Hey, John. Well, goodbye, John. So, as you can see, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. This guy finally appears in my enemy list. And if I press revenge, alright, so this is literally saying, um, if you want to, if you want to, I don't know, seek revenge or something like that, it costs one Ngak, which is a gem, and... I think it means you have five tries or it's either that's either five minutes or five tries of doing that. So what will happen is I'm going to use that one gem to essentially get my revenge. It's called a tone. He says a tone for whatever reason. And a tone means revenge. Now, hey, what's up, buddy? Now, this guy is locked in. But what can happen is ah, big fan, big fan, big fan. Appreciate that, I appreciate that, I appreciate that. So what can happen is this guy can flee. And it'll queue, it'll unqueue the battle state, right? But what I can keep doing is I can keep revenging this guy. And then because I did it once already with a gem, I can straight up just keep, I can straight up just keep uh keep doing that. <laughs> It works both ways. This account that I'm using, the other account, doesn't have any gems, so I can't, uh, we can't really, uh, can't really show that side. But I will show the side of the person being hunted. So I'm gonna have this guy travel to another portion. So let's say you killed someone and they are trying to get you back. What'll happen is I'll press revenge. And then, straight up, hold on, there it is, watch out, some, it used to be faster, I'm pretty sure it was faster before, I don't know what happened, but it looks like there's like other alerts that are maybe like pushing the boundary, because um, what should happen is the person that's being hunted, they should be immediately alerted, pretty much either as soon as the guy touches the zone or right before. Because, you know, they, they need some preparation time at, as little as they'll have it. At least that's how it was in the old game. The only way to cancel this is to obviously wait the guy out. We'll have to test how Hidden Killer affects it. I guess that's uh, that's for a uh, part two. <laughs> oh, hey. So let's uh, let's test this in real time. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually lit as fuck. Do I actually kill the guy? I actually killed the guy. I am so sorry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal you up. Don't, don't worry, buddy. So yeah. So let's see what happens when you actually get a kill. I had no idea. I thought it was per person. So I straight up thought... Alright, now that we've killed him, his name was J.V. Sabas or some shit like that. Yeah, now that I've killed him, he's straight up off the list. I I didn't know that you could challenge pretty much anyone. I thought it was one-to-one. -one, so it's like, if you revenged this guy, I thought you could only revenge that guy and you wouldn't have to spend gems. So now that I killed him, it looks like for five straight minutes, everyone here is free game. So now I want to see if... What happens if I straight up just kill him again, right? What will happen? 
I don't know why I keep doing this. Let's see, account, enemy, wrong one. All right, the only way for this to be canceled, by the way, also, this is faster than Yardrit. So if you have a gem to spare, this is genuinely faster. And <clears throat> because of how friends are, it, it essentially costs gems to add friends, which I think is super dumb. Let's also revive my, uh, revive that guy over there. Because it costs gems to make friends, it's easier to add people on your enemy list. And if you have literally one gem, holy shit, they're killing each other. They're straight up just massacring each other. He broke dog. I wish you saw this on screen. This guy used Makanko. This this Namekian used Makanko Sapo on this Saiyan and killed him. And then now he just turned his flag off. <laughs> Dude, what? A... <laughs> that is so flipping funny. But yeah, <laughs> um, it's it's easier to teleport to enemies. And yeah, it's uh, it's an old mechanic, so a lot of the a lot of the uh, old heads they know what I'm talking about here. But this is something that doesn't really get talked about. This used to be one of the one of the scariest mechanics in the game because it's like if you killed somebody, they'd be right on you. It'd be it would be actually actually terrible. And I don't know what happened, but I guess ever since Yardrat came into the mix, not many people have been. Not many people have been talking about its own, but yeah, this was uh, one of the one of the coolest mechanics. And I, I remember talking about a video of like going through every single person that's killed me through this list, because it's always a good blast from the plat blast from the past. Just looking at this, and sometimes even on like old accounts, I'll just kind of go through it and just look at all the people that once played. But yeah. Oh, by the way. If I leave the zone, it'll cancel it out because I can't be running away from my own challenge. So now that I've run away, now when I try to challenge him again, it'll prompt me with the same prompt that it did before. Because it's like, dude, you can't run away from your own challenge. So, you know, you better pay the price for it. This is, bro, like I said before, one of the coolest mechanics in the game. And, uh, yeah, just wanted to talk about that. See ya.